Hello my fellow viewers, welcome back to another upload. Today I'll be playing Alan Wake. Alan Wake came out in 2010. It was an Xbox ex Xbox exclusive and I've never played it. I have played a uh, Control. I love Control that game, it's hard. I never beat it. Some kind of acquaintance, the same universe as Alan Wake. They're in the same universe I guess, but this one I've never played. So we're gonna get this going and see how it rolls. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more variety gaming. And let's go. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse, for some urgent reason I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Whew. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Damn, he knocked his bumper to the side. <laughs> Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. Look up to the light and press oh, with the R joystick, okay. Reverse your controls for looking. Uh, no, I'm good like this, I think. You can change camera settings and use the L stick to walk around. Can I look in the trunk? you got there books yep examine the radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker the car wasn't going anywhere pretty much stuck I had to go to the lighthouse I knew there was something important waiting for me there get to the lighthouse okay all the way down there, okay. Lighthouse is that direction. All right, we're going. Let's go, let's go. Crazy guy, jump. Still behind me? Where's he at? He's gone, okay. You missed your deadline! You dodge attacks, press that one, and okay, okay. Miss me. Let's try again. Touch an attack. 
Nice. Again. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. Talking? Oh, here we go. Damn, you're running out of stamina. Yeah, we're going. We're going. Going. Hurry! Like a hurricane or something. What the hell? Come on, get inside, then. Eyeball on a screen. Alright, well. Oh, we are trapped. Okay, we gotta do something here. Get out somehow. Hell, well, you gotta hurry up. Follow the light. Okay. Oh. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Okay, okay, okay. We're going. I'm trying to go down. Okay, do I stay in the light? Oh, I got you. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene to its ports I've been. To its ports, I been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. Pick 
Good. Hmm. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Still alive, this guy. Oh shit! He's trying to get me. What the hell? Oh, whoa! There's a lot of them. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I thought it was only one, and like three of them popped out. Trying to battle them and stuff. <laughs> you met me this way, and now I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, hurry up. Let's go, let's go. Faster. Oh shit, wrong weapon. We're going. I can keep this up. Okay. Let's go this way. Tired. <laughs> lighthouse, lighthouse, lighthouse. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. I guess it was a dream. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? 
you have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying, I'm Pat May, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any How many pictures are you going to take? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this way. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got here. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? A text message from Barry. He says hi to you, too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Which one's our car? Oh, that one. Lee Ferry. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. And you keep it here. Well, okay. Find Good Carl you. Stuckey. Why is that light flickering? It always. Try the coffee. It's Just never a good thing. Fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty never a good thing. <laughs> is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. <laughs> Unbelievable. What are you scared of? That, get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Here you go. Yeah, it's probably the, that's the ladies' room. We don't want to go in there. The men's room. Hello? Mr. Stuckey? 
Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Checkpoint reached. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Why are you in the dark by yourself, ma'am? And why are you scared over there? This is very strange, like the atmosphere. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. <laughs> Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia. It's the Andersons. They're uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Okay, we're leaving the diner. Bye, Mr. Wake. Somebody's driving up all the stuff. It's the wifey. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Whoa. -oh. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! You're. Your keys! What? That was weird. That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Bad man here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And now the weather. It's gonna be a clear night, so you folks from the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. It gets pretty dark out here, but they'll light your way. It glitchy here and there. That is a nice area. Wow, it's gorgeous, Alan. It's a it's nice all right. cabin. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure uh -huh. we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Ooh, look at that. Are you Graphics sure you are read the directions pretty right? decent. It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Her own private Birdies. I know, right? It's pretty cool. I like this. I wouldn't mind having something like this. I mean, it's just your own private island, like she said. <laughs> okay. I gotta tap it. Okay. It's dark in there. We need light. Jump. Can you Jump. how to get the power on, honey? Sure thing. I'm on it. Examine. Hello? Anyone here? A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Why would somebody be there? There's a door right there. Let's see. Let's look over here. 
Can you examine it? Oh, pick something up. For what? I don't know. Pick coffee thermos. Okay, there's doors here. They don't open. We're going upstairs. Oh, there's also a door out here. There's a radio. The Deer Fest guests have already started to arrive. Just ran into one of the famous artists. No I mean, there's. We'll see if we can rope them into an interview later. Little on. area down here. Uh, so we're gonna go back upstairs then, since there's nothing. Well, hello. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Damn. I needed yeah. to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere oh. on the island. What did it say? I thought it said something. Oh, right there. Like somebody's going underwater or something. Weird. Just hurry up. This guy is gonna hallucinate. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. What's this calendar? I don't see nothing in this room. Okay. Mm. So I gotta go outside? I don't see nothing down here. We're going outside. Was clear but dark. It looked very deep. Hmm. Nice scenery. Okay, we gotta get the power back on. I don't or get it on. Okay, not a breaker outside. Some more. I don't... The power cable goes to that shed over there. Huh? <laughs> oh, I'm over here looking inside the house. You could have said something earlier, lady. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. That's that. We got power, I guess. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. 